Hello, I'm Arnel from Mimi's Keepsakes. Thank you for being here with me today. I am doing the 100-day project and believe it or not, but we've made it all the way to day 50. I'm so happy. I have made a lot of ephemera, which was the whole goal of me doing the 100-day project this year. So I am going to start with the nominees for day 50 draw at the beginning of the video because I talk about the draw during the video and every almost every time I forget to give you the names. Um, so today's nominees are two new subscribers. It's Journal and ASMR and Kian54. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, thank you for all, all of you. Oh, well, thank you for all the wonderful and kind messages that you've been sending me. And thank you for all your support. So today on day 50, we are doing the faux envelope flap fold up out. And it is basically just, you can again use bigger pieces of scrap paper or a full sheet of um, A4 paper or copy paper, but it's just a little extra journaling space or you can add pockets in here you can add pages in here you can let me find you can add my flippy pad is too big but you can add some of the flippy pads that we've made in pre previous um, 100 day projects i didn't add anything in here because i thought it's a nice neutral uh, pocket for any journal and it's just a lot of extra journaling space but you can definitely and we might add when we start decorating some pockets and things but if you do want to look at that I will link Tina's video again today in the description box Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle and um, for some reason she only has one video for 50 she does she has a day 50 but not a video for day 150 um, so I'll link that one video. There's lots of extra ideas in her video. So let's start making. These are very, very easy to make. Um, let's start. Oh, I should have cut these down. Let's start with um, this. Today I have, maybe I should show you that first. Uh, I'm organizing, as you know. I've mentioned it a couple of times. So I started organizing the to do projects which there's a thousand of almost so i found this kit from the paper cameo it's papillon i printed it for a journal but never did it so before i start cutting it up i'll just quickly show you what's in this kit it's a beautiful kit i just have the journaling pages here so um we'll be using that today because i do not have big enough scraps so first of all you can use a full size um, copy paper and I'm thinking maybe we'll make this one a full size one <laughs> sorry in this can decide what I want to do but let's just do a full size one and make it easy the other ones will probably make smaller because I do think the smaller ones would fit easily into any journal. But of course, this is a great, almost like a little pouch as well for Happy Mail. If you add pockets and things in there, or you can add even journaling pages in there, I think for sure. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. I think once you start playing around with it, you'll find that you get so many ideas that you yeah there's just that you kind of as you're making them ideas keep coming so this is 28 pound paper um i do think you can make these with just like this is just coffee dyed copy paper weight i think you can do it with that uh, but it all depends on your preferences, how comfortable you feel with, uh, you know, 
I don't know. I feel that 28 pound is good enough. Dina always says that you need to use almost like a, just need to um, tidy this up, uh, almost a lightweight cardstock. It all depends on what you feel comfortable with. And yeah. But so, and then, oh my, that's why I needed to tidy it up. That wasn't folded straight at all. Okay. How did that happen? Okay, now we need to tidy it up again. Sorry about that. It's okay. And then all you do is just fold it over and don't fold it flat, just flip it over so your flap that you're cutting would be the same size on you know it would be a balanced flap and you can shape the flap whichever way you like Dina made it more of a pointy flap and even a little smaller will do various sizes just to play around with it I I made it look like an envelope I think this is pretty and that is your very complicated pocket done. So now you just need to make a closure and once we finished a couple of them, I think we'll do closures and options for closures. Let's just um, concentrate on making mass making a couple of these and making the fold straights. I think that's another thing that I need to do. So first I'm going to start off by just gluing these papers together just because I do feel that they can they could do they can do with a little bit of strength they're just regular copy dyed papers I think it's 20 pounds um, and they have been copy dyed so I find that they are the paper because it stretches when it gets wet are a little bit weaker than regular paper so let's just glue these so they can dry and then when we fold they won't make bubbles and I should probably maybe do this on top of this one and I won't have glue all over my table the edges first yeah so these are my own dyed papers I decided to put my shop on vacation when I got sick with COVID because obviously I didn't want to mail anything out I don't think it would have made a big difference by the time it got there the virus probably would have been dead but you don't know and I mean I didn't want my husband to take care of that while I was sick in bed so I put my shop in, on vacation and then when I started feeling better and had more energy I had to reevaluate my my crazy schedule because I was trying to do the shop do the garden do the house do the organize my um, craft area my work area so I decided maybe I'll put my shop just leave it on vacation until the end of April hopefully and the goal is that my craft room should be organized by the end of April and if I say it out loud to all of you guys maybe you can keep me to that goal because I do tend to get a little bit sidetracked squirrel kind of 
<sighs> brain here it's very scattered i do like to multitask i never do just one thing but that also means that everything takes a little longer to be finished and so i do need to focus on one thing or two things at the moment i'm trying to for my channel at least just trying to keep up with the 100 day project and um, organize my room and then when my room is organized hopefully by the end of april i will have time to work on more of these projects that's only half done these two i'm going to leave to dry i'm putting um, coffee dyed paper behind the music paper as well just because I, this music paper isn't that thick and it's older from the, I think, 50s. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that to dry while we make some more of these papers. Okay, so let's get to the printed ones. Let's do a couple of those. Um, let's do this one. Um, let's do that one. I don't want to do too many. Let's do that one. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to cut these a little smaller because I do want different sizes. So let's do this size and I'll just cut the white edges. I think I forgot to say borderless. Can't remember, it's been a while since I've printed these. I am very excited to do the draw later today. Remember to come back for the draw video. It's for the 50, day 50 draw. I have the names in the bowl and I'm ready to do it. Just wanted to add today's two nominees as well so they have a chance to uh, get drawn. And this one, let's make this one a little bit bigger than the previous one. And let's keep up with so these. You can just paper clip them to a page, obviously, again, or glue them, or pop them in a pocket, or send them as happy mail, um, or add papers to it and make a small journal uh, what else you can yeah or even just make like a little vacation journal let's make two tall skinny ones let's just cut this in half just because but i'm thinking this one if I fold it, it's going to be upside down both. So let's do this one because it was left over from the previous one, a tall skinny one, a very skinny one. Let's see what shapes and sizes we can get. And like I said, this would be perfect for your bigger size and maybe your smaller size. Um, scraps let's see and of course book pages I just have the music page in here so let's see what we can do so I think for mass making we've done all the cutting except the ones that's still wet I'm going to fold this in to more or less thirds and let's make sure we're 
making the folds equal and then depending on how big you want your flap you can cut this smaller i'm thinking because this is so pretty i am going to leave this and maybe just make a more pointy flap than the previous one and shape it this is more the shape tina had for her flaps this one is the same thing again and i did i don't have double-sided paper you can always print yours double-sided or you can ink it up and stencil it or glue paper on the back um the sky is the limit and for some reason my folding is off every time <laughs> so hopefully your folding is better so this one let's cut tina cut the flaps in half and then from that half flap you can possibly have make little pockets inside like she did let's see if we do a flap this way a real skinny you know small little flap oh i do like the shape of that one <clears throat> let's see this one because it's smaller i'm feeling that maybe i will make this smaller too just playing around because we had this piece of scrap paper let's see how a little teeny tiny one will look and let's cut this off here to create our flap i feel it's easier to open everything up and then line those two folds up and shape your flap your faux flap and if it's not 100 percent keep working on the shape of your flap there and then this one would be you can probably even do like those faux envelope flip downs like we did and make three folds let's do that so remember with the flap we we made the shape the flap this way but i'm thinking this paper is so pretty let's just do this and keep even more oh i didn't fold that over that will help okay <clears throat> get the two folds together and shape the flap yeah so you can do that too for sure just want to shape that a little better let's see i think my papers that i have glued should be done and let's cut these smaller because they are very big so yes, I will let you know when my shop opens again. Um, there. I just need to concentrate on one thing at the moment. curling up because I glued it that one and here there's a teeny tiny tear there on the oh I don't and I'll that'll I'll make the flap that side it doesn't matter this would be a perfect project for 
those papers that I have a lot of where when you're coffee dyeing or dyeing your papers, um, sometimes when you pick up your papers while they're still wet, you lose that little corner. This would be a perfect project for that. And so Tina had paper where she added some decoupage napkin. She had pieces of paper that the napkin was already added, decoupaged on her book pages or music pages. So that's an option too. And like these, obviously you can fold into thirds as well. Just trying to get to see this one bubbled a little bit. And even though I put up a lot of, it's good, it gives character. Even though I added so much glue to it. And another flap here. And see, you don't even, you're not gluing. That is it. You will be gluing when you decorate, but these... So let's see how many we've made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In about 20 minutes and with me talking a lot at the beginning. So you can definitely do more if you don't talk as much. And I usually sit down after the video and just make for more or less for an hour, I feel everything is on the table. I might as well continue, so I'll make a couple more. So let's uh, let's do the closures for some of them. Let's do a policy closure first. You'll need a one-inch bunch, some scrap, small scrap piece of paper, and then just add bunch of circle and you'll need a pokey tool or a big needle and a brad. So I am going to use this piece of Fomalite. It was part of packaging. Can't remember what. The other thing that works well is if you have an old mouse pad from a computer. So all you need to do is decide where you want to place your circle. Poke a hole through. You, if you obviously don't have something like this, you can poke the hole through without that. Just make sure that when you poke the hole through that your fingers are kind of separated here so you're not poking yourself. I know that sounds very obvious, but I'll just say it so it's out there and I can't be blamed for any injuries. And then all you need to do is open your brad and just flatten it and then again like i said at the beginning you can add paper or um, something on here if you don't like that brad piece to show so you, normally a uh, policy closure will have two circles and you will kind of tie your string around but for this if you i would do the circle on the flap because that way the rest of your uh, the back is open if you do the circle here obviously you'll have the brad here in the middle where you might want to write or add a pocket or a flippy pad or something just something to keep in mind so the last step would be simply to get the string in there tie a knot Maybe my brad, maybe leave, leave a little bit of space for the string. I think my brad was a little too tight. Tie a knot. And then you can either leave the excess or cut it down. And you, I... I don't like to tie a double knot there because it adds a lot of bulk. So I just, in the way close to the brad, I just add 
a little dot of glue to keep my dot my knot together so it won't come undone obviously leave it to dry i'm just going to show you then you just wrap it around your your envelope and close it i'll just take this off so my dot of glue can dry there without my string getting shot so that is one way to make a closure other ways to make closures is to use um, those teeny tiny little magnets you can use or those velcro circles i still have been unable to find the white velcro circles unfortunately i still i only have black and i don't want to put black on here the other thing that you can do is you can use your decorated paper clips let's see this one i mean none of them would be perfect but decorated per paper clips would work as well i think this one goes the wrong way but you know something like that and your pocket is all already decorated um i have these uh, lace circles from camille you can add if i add a and we might do that with one of the pink ones if i add a circle on here and then use that and just glue it on there as a policy closure i can close my envelope like that so there's lots of ways oh the other thing is i have this fancy we can add this little hinge thing that i've bought from <clears throat> excuse me why am i i kind of feel like i just ran it a mile that i this was from i bought this from stampin up years and years and years ago but i'm sure there is more of these on the market but it's the same thing as the policy closure it just closes up and then you can add what do i have here there is something that might work i have some sorry silk here and you can string it through and make a knot on one side and just same thing as the policy closure just whoops that's wrapped around too tightly but just something like that uh, there's various ways or just a little clamp and if you're going to add this paper clip this to a page obviously i don't think even you need a closure but just maybe if you do add pockets like dina did and you have tags and things in there you might want a proper closure so let's just decorate some of them so like this one um we can add the flippy pad in here just maybe tear it a little smaller let's do that and maybe just because i have the white background here and i do not want to add where did i put the stencils i don't want to ink the whole thing let's add some ink on here um what color ink shall we use for this close by Oops. let me grab some ink uh, let's use vintage photo yes vintage photo and I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper for inking and I'm thinking let's just do some brown here in the middle. Oh, maybe I should use the bigger so it's not making all those circles. And and then let's come in with a stencil and just add some stenciling just here and there. I don't think I want to stencil my entire envelope inside I 
because the flippy pad will be on top of most of it and then you can still oops, write even behind your flippy pad if you're desperately looking for more writing space. Okay, I think that should be okay. And I should have there a piece of scrap paper. So let's add the flippy pad in here. Make some room. Okay. Flippy pad. So let's do I might have to take more of this flippy pad down. Yes, that will work. So let's shall we do it on this side here? I'm going to glue it in. You <clears throat> excuse me glue it in and I'm thinking with this is an extra piece of paper and it's just regular paper and just because I'm going to make a pocket but I'm going to add things inside and it will take some wear and tear I'm going to double it up with double because it is a piece of scrap that were left over from when we made the pocket so we might as well use this piece now instead of adding it to my scrap pile of papers and then we're just going to glue this and just make sure this is glued together well and Glue a pocket on here and then you can add a little tag in here let's see if i have something this might not be perfect but you know something i don't have anything else in here that's big enough but something like that can go in there and then this on the outside let's see what we can use to decorate the outside um, i have these beautiful circles from camille i love these and i'm always hoarding them because but i don't have anything purple in here so maybe that's for something else um what did I bring? There's a beautiful butterfly that might go with this. Oh, I like that butterfly on there. And I always almost feel like it needs to be to have some glossy accents on there. I might do that afterwards. Yes, glossy accents so the butterfly stands out a bit more maybe a label somewhere not sure um, i am looking for a nice bit wider piece of beige lace and i know i have a piece here somewhere on my desk But it's a really small piece. <laughs> uh, let me just see. Okay, then maybe we'll go for a thin piece. I think we are done with that. Anyway, I found this. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, maybe. I should use some of the Swiss. Yes, I do love this stuff, the Swiss dots. And I like to kind of just cut a really rough square and then simply go in with my scissors and kind of rough up. Just be careful that you don't poke the scissors in your eye. Okay, 
Don't be too crazy pulling your scissors, but I just want to rough it up a little bit. And then it, you see how it kind of takes on a shape. I love that. It just adds some dimension. And we'll do maybe the butterfly over here and it can flip over that. A label here. You know what? I also have these butterflies, but no, I excuse me, do like this one. And just gonna grab a small piece of lace here. I don't think I want to add another color on here. I do like the fact that it's neutral. There's a white piece of lace. You can always. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> it was a white piece of lace, not beige. Lost the small piece of lace on the floor. Just got another piece. <clears throat> Maybe do layered lace. Oh, I do like that. Okay, let's do that. Fabric deck. The Swiss dots. Okay. I do need to clean up after this video again. Um, I didn't clean up yesterday when I did my other video and so it just didn't feel quite up to it yet so I do need to clean up my table my table definitely is a mess again okay Swiss dots then we'll do the this one it's always a struggle to keep things neat and tidy if you're working on projects every day i find it's but I do think it's important to do that because otherwise it gets such a mess. And I am, as you know, trying to organize. So it's uh, just been one thing after the other. It just feels like I'm never going to get there. Okay, so I am going to add some glossy accents on there um, afterwards just because I do feel it will just add a touch of... You know, just add, take it to the ne next level of decorating. I'm just getting rid of that white edge there. And shall we add this on here? Or do I want it down here? Maybe on here, actually. Hmm. You definitely don't need wet glue for this label, but it's just, I don't have to pull out a glue page. Okay, so there's one. So it will look something like this. You can even tie a little bow here if you want to. Just get rid of all the sorry ruffles there so it would look like that and when you open it you'll open it up and you'll did I put it well it doesn't really matter 
So open it up and you'll have the flippy pad here. So you can write on each page of paper. You can even write in the back there and you can add some tickets or small tags in here. So another very versatile pocket for sure. I don't think I'm going to decorate another one just because I do think this video has taken longer. I'm not sure how long I've, it's been because I had to stop in the middle. And um, I hope you do like this project. It is easy. Again, you can use your scraps. It's fast. It's basically a piece of paper folded and cut. It, that's all you need to do with this. And you can use your paper, decorative paper clips to close it. You can make a policy closure, all kinds of things to decorate this up and make it look very fancy and as if you have spent an hour to make this one pocket and you didn't. Anyway, thank you to Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda for her wonderful 100 mask making projects that she has on her channel. I will link her videos so you can watch the way she decorated it and added pockets and all kinds of things to this pocket and thank you for watching i will see you again a little later today with the day 50 draw and um, good luck to everybody that has been entered if you want to enter for the day 100 draw all you need to do is leave a couple of comments and i will pick two people every day into the draw and it, you can be on that draw more than once or in the pot and um yes if you don't know yet maybe watch some of the other videos because i feel like i'm repeating myself every day and it's been 50 days of repeating anyway thank you for watching and thank you for all your kind comments i appreciate it so much and i will talk to you again a little bit later today and good luck to all the everybody that has been nominated for the day 50 draw bye